Hey guys, and welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. Thank you for all of your messages and an extra thank you to everyone who has signed up to my channel. I feel so blessed. I will answer as many of your messages as possible. I will go through all the messages and like all the messages though, even the ones who disagree with me. You know, so it seems here yeah, that um, Pretty Patel, right, who this morning was telling us, you know, that they've the, uh, forced those boats back over to France and she, she's been over to France and she's shaking her fist at, the, at her French counterpart. She was shaking her fist at them, right? But it seems that she forgot to tell the French because now the French are saying, well, that will be illegal if you decide to go and start messing about with boats and, and start to send them back. And then, and they said it would be quite dangerous too. All of Boris Johnson's um, uh, ministers or MP, uh, they're just all like, just really incompetent. You know, they could do this here. They're doing this, right, because they know they can get away with it. Right, because they know they can get this past the Brexiters. They, I, think, I think they wake up in the morning and think to themselves, hmm, what can we do today? Right, to the Brexiters, right? They're just like, uh, and then at the end of the day, we're gonna have a good old laugh at their expense, because that's what the, that's what these guys have, have got to be doing to you, seriously. Have have got to be doing to you, because you know, you know. It, I mean, we're not we're not the Australians after all, right? <laughs> you know, they handle boat people a lot different. <laughs> you know, even though yeah, Australia yeah has got more motherfucking room yeah than than. The Queen's got rooms at Buckingham Palace. She's got about 700 with people outside sleeping on the floor, on the concrete. You've got 700 rooms. But anyway, that's a different thing. <laughs> yeah, Australia got so much fucking room. And for them to for them to really deal with people like that, do you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of fucking, it's, it's, it's really fucked up in the first place. Do you know what I mean? Because they've got more, they, Australia could take so much more people. Do you know what I mean? They've, you know, they take so much more people in that country. Do you know what I mean? But what you've got to remember about the Australians here yeah, is that uh, is that most of them are Europeans. Yeah, that's that's who they are. Most of them are Europeans. So obviously, yeah, there's going to be a lot of Australians who are from the left who are disgusted right, by what they're doing to the what they what the Australians done to the boat people. Just like over here, there's people over here from obviously from the left. Who are fucking disgusted when Prince Patel says that? Oh, you know what I want to go and do? I want to go and put a wave machine up in the fucking channel. A wave machine? <laughs> Seriously? Do you know what I mean? Oh, I want to push the fucking boat. I want to push the boats back. Push them back. Right? See, again, yeah. You Brexiters, yeah. You think that um, you think that Pretty Patel is on your side. You, you think that she's one of you, right? She's one of you. Pretty Patel is like the rest of them. Right? Pretty Patel, is, she's upper class. Right? She's two classes above us as working classes. She's two classes above us. She's she's upper class. But you see, you you guys, you you fail to understand this. Right? Because you're not fighting a you you know you're not fighting a race war. It's not a race war you're fighting. You're fighting a class war, right? And you see, you see people like David Cameron and George Osborne. Because remember, none of them guys here—they don't need to work, right? Everything they've done to this country, they've done on your behalf, right? So they helped to fuck up the country on your behalf, right? None of those guys need to work. David Cameron got what forty million pounds, right? And his wife Sam Cam, she's even fucking richer. Right. She got more money than motherfucking dirt. <laughs> Trust me. Right? George Osborne got what, five million pounds. None of these guys need to work. They're all upper class. Right? And they've and they 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 fight they they put you onto this. Right? Because they're making you fight a race war. So they can avoid you fighting the class war. What the real problem is. Because what are you fighting against me for? Me and you're the same motherfucking class. Can't get fuck all from me. Right? So the war, the, the war you're fighting is the wrong war. But they've been at this for years. Why do you think the Tories, yeah, are so regimented? When it comes down to elections, they all get behind the leader. And they all look like they're all singing from their same hymn sheet. 
The left can never do that. You know, every, everybody's got different opinions about this and that, and they'll never, the left, the left find it difficult to get them. The left find it difficult to get behind any one leader. Right? Because what we just do, we just form a circle and just start firing our cannons at each other from the left. Right? The Tories all get together. Right? Because they're upper class. They're different class. And they, they know the only way for them to stay in power right, is for them to keep us fighting against each other. And the best way to do that right, is to have black against white. White against Asian. Black against Asian. Asian against black. That's the best way they can do that. Right? They're not involved in it. They don't really care about. They don't really care about about. They don't really care about that. The whether you are black or white. They're not really interested in that, right? Quasi Quartang, he's a black man, right? I'm a black man. Do you think me and Quasi Quartang have anything in common, right? Quasi Quartang, right? And Jacob Rees Mogg have a lot of shit in common. You don't have anything in common with, with Jacob Rees Mogg. You're white. Right? You and Jacob Rees Mock have nothing in common. You have the same in common as me and Kwasi Kwarteng, but them two have got a lot in common. They're old Etonians. They're upper class. Right? There's a lot of Asian people who, who vote for the Tories. There's a reason for that. It's because they're fucking upper class. That's the reason for it. Right? You are working class. Right? They have nothing for you. Nothing at all. The only thing they need is for your vote to stay in power. Right? And if they can keep that, if they can keep the war going between you and I, then they're cool. They'll keep that going for good. Because that keeps them in power. Keeps them in power forever. Right? Remember what I said. None of these guys need to work. So, so what the fuck are you doing? Why, why, what, are you, what the fuck are you doing? You've got 40 million fucking pounds. Why the fuck? What are you doing? Right? Jacob Rees-Mogg. You know, he's got, he's got money for the next, what? Six or seven lifetimes. Probably even longer. Doesn't need to work. Working on your behalf. Playing a chess game with your life. Seeing how, how much he can fuck it up for you. And just laughing at you. Laughing at you on a daily basis. Because those guys, they're all minted. And they're all upper class. So don't, don't forget the foolishness. Forget the, forget the culture wars. Forget the race wars. It's the wrong one. Anyway. Let's speak about some Brexit. Another thing that you guys have fucked the country up with. So, you know, I, I just saw a report today. I know, I know it's been quite a while that, that we've all known about the Roman charges coming back. Yeah, so we've got fucking Roman charges coming back because you motherfucking racist, motherfucking Brexiteers. Remember, yeah, before when, when you'd go into Europe or something like that and then you'd hear about one of your friends come back with a bill and they're going to £900, pounds, right? £1,100, £1,700. Pounds. Well, that shit is coming back. Because remember when they said to us, oh, nah, man, no more the, the, the mobile phone companies, no, nah, man, no, there were no roaming charges. We never did that to you. Come on. We can do that. Since when big business, yeah, haven't taken the opportunity to make money out of the small man. Of course they're gonna take they're gonna take the opportunity. They was always gonna do that. Right? We've got the new we've got a new um uh, type of visa that we have to pay like seven euros i think it lasts three years or something like that but we have to pay seven euros now to go into um to go into the when we go into the eu all right you see that's the thing because you see the upper class they really wanted to play with you so they said you know what i wonder if these people yeah would vote to take away their own freedom of movement i wonder if they would be that stupid but we all know the answers to that, don't we? It was that motherfucking stupid. Right? That's the one thing, you know, that's the one thing that, that you had. 
that they that, that, that they had as well, right? They've still got it, by the way, because they because rich people, yeah, they don't need to worry about visas or anything like that. They don't they don't need to worry about that. They just need a passport and their credit card, and they're gone anywhere they want in the world, right? And all governments will be welcoming to them because they're rich. So all governments is welcoming to them, no matter where it is, welcome to them, right? Because that's how they do. So that's how they roll. You don't roll like that. After all, have you got forty million pounds in your bank account? So why the fuck would you be voting for people who have forty million pound or five million pound or in Jacob Rees Mogg more money than a motherfucker? Why would you be voting for them? They 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 know nothing. They cannot relate to your life in any way at all, ever. Because it's not like they've made this money. It's old money. That's what you've got to understand. These guys have got old money. Right? Even if you had £10 million now, right, you still couldn't get into their club, into, their, into these guys' type of world. New money. Right? They'd look at you and go, oh, fucking lottery winner. New money. Right? They only bring you in a certain amount. Because you know, understand it, if working class people really make it, yeah, the main thing for the upper class to do is try and get that money off of them. <laughs> Seriously, these guys are not easy at all, right? They're, they're, they're not easy at all. And they're playing you Brexiters, yeah? They're playing you like a cheap banjo. Trust me, right? And you guys are letting them. And you have to say why? Because they know, yeah, they understand. They understand about the racist gene. They know. Right? And they know they can play on that. They play on that all the time. Right? And they get you going. Yeah? Your life is fucked up, yeah, because of the blacks and the Asians. Right? All the fucking Europeans over here taking your fucking jobs. Well, the Europeans have gone now and all the jobs are there. So go and fucking take the motherfucking jobs. No, can you? Because there's not enough of us. Right? And now, remember with the new tax as well, yeah? That we're down, we're, we're down probably 2 million right, um, NIs not coming in. So that's going to be an extra 2 million people not paying the new, you know, you, Boris Johnson's new National Health Service tax. Yeah? We, we need all those receipts. All those receipts we need. <laughs> right? But that's, that's them not coming in. You know, they said these guys are playing you, right? But I, 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 I think that you Brexiters, you're too stupid. You're too stupid to to realize. Every single, let me tell you this, right? Every single lefty fully understands this. They understand about it. They understand about the class war, right? And we, we from the left have been trying to fight it from the longest of time, right? But if you Brexiters continue to fucking vote against your your own interests, yeah. Then we're we're fighting we're, we're fighting a never ending battle because the only way we can get we we because remember we should be telling the government what what to do they should never be telling us what to do right a prime minister should never have the, the audacity to let you know right that they that they that they're buying a thousand pound a roll of wallpaper they shouldn't have the audacity to let you know that not while people are going to fucking food banks. They should never let you know that, but they can, because you're stupid, and they know that they're that they're playing on that racist gene. That they're playing on that. They know you've got it, so they're playing on it. So we we from the left, we've been trying to fight this class war forever, right? Even when, you know, to, even when Tony Blair comes, because Tony Blair, yeah, Tony Blair is upper class. Tony Blair is really a conservative, really. That's the values that he's got. That's the reason why Tony Blair could get into power. He went and saw. He went and saw and spoke to Murdoch. That's why he could get. That, that's the reason why. That right there is the reason why. Remember, he's upper class Tony Blair. He's not. He's not. He, he's not from the working classes. 
Right. So we haven't had we haven't had a true a, a, a true left left wing leader really, because any that any that come along, right? The press the press just destroy them. The media just completely destroy them straight away. Right. I wasn't around with with the, with with one of our last ones who was Michael Foot, right? But the media they done they done what they done to Jeremy Corbyn they done to Michael Foot back in the day, right? When when Jeremy Corbyn nearly won the election in what twenty seventeen, right? They knew, they knew by the time the next election come around, they have to destroy this man's character. They they knew they had to do that, they had to do that, right? So the best thing they could do was say, you know what? Yeah, he's racist. They couldn't come to the black community and say to, and say to the black community, yeah, Jeremy Corbyn's racist because we're like, what the fuck are you talking about? They couldn't go to the Asian community and say. Um, well, yeah, Jeremy Corbyn's racist. What? Well, come on, man, be fucking serious. So, they had to find a minority, and then up the Jewish community. Right? They know that Jeremy Corbyn, yeah, hated on hated on Israel. Right? Never had a good word to say about Israel. Right? So they just turned that. Boom! They just turned that one time. Do you know what I mean? And then they voted in the guy, right, who brought Victor Olban into 10 Downing Street. What did they say about that? I'm still waiting to hear what they say about that. Hmm? Plenty of Jewish people voting for Donald Trump. Donald Trump supporters walking through Charlottesville saying the Jews will not replace us. None of this, uh, none of this I understand. None of, because you know, one thing's for certain, yeah? I couldn't have been with those Donald Trump supporters saying the Jews will not replace us because they'll be looking at me and say, hold on a minute, uh, uh, but who the fuck is this black guy? Because that's what would be going on. Do you know what I mean? You know? So as I said to you guys, yeah, it's the class war, not the race war. Don't, don't let them fool you with the race war. Because that's not the war. It's the class war. We need to fight upwards. Not to the side or downwards. That doesn't make any sense. That's like going and robbing someone that lives on the street. And you live in a house. It's stupid. That's Brexit. Do you understand? Yeah? As I said, guys, yeah, it is the class war. Not the race war. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. This is by any means necessary. I'm DMC John Ribs. Comments below, and I'll see you guys real soon. It was a real pleasure speaking to you.